Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, September 18, 2012. And we have 21 days, about 21 days left before we find from Justice Phyllis Okilov Flug and New York State Supreme Court Justice in Queens County, New York, about my case for $7.3 million against the city of New York, Mayor Bloomberg, and every black N-word traitor elected official in Southeast Queens. Now, here I am in Far Rockaway. This is where we at, around Beach 20. And there's a guy called James Sanders, who's a councilman out here, who I just helped him become New York State Senator by me being the catalyst that led the Attorney General of New York State to find the malfeasance of New York State Senator Shirley L. Huntley, who was funding money to her relative's nonprofit. That, that's crazy. For $30,000, you blow it like that, man. For $30,000 for crying out loud. Had you any idea that a man in homelessness could bang, bust step behind? Oh, Lord have mercy. We got to rejoice, people. This is where you actually understand the meaning of revenge. And whoever is teaching you that cockamamie nonsense, oh, you can't want revenge. That's what some, uh, I don't know, some, some woman with a British accent in the office of James Sanders Jr. going to tell him, oh, you want revenge? Well, what do you think when they put your monkey behind in the frickin' slavery? What in the hell do you think that is? What do you think that is? That British accent don't impress me. Do you have an education in political science? Do you know anything? What is these black guys that are elected officials adorning their offices with these hot babes, booty all out, and some clothes too tight for them? That's two sizes, too freaking small, and them babes walk around them offices acting like, you know, Oh, look at my booty. That's where my brain is. Uh, uh, massage that. You'll get somewhere. Hell no. That's crazy. That's crazy. If I come to the office of an elected official, I'm not interested in no hot ass black babe. I ain't interested in no kind of booty. I'm not interested in jack. But to get justice and to get what I pay my taxes for, and you're supposed to be a representative. Now, James Sanders Jr., you know, you were out here in Far Rockaway. Now what we want to know is, when are you going to have your meeting with the head of the black mafia, the invisible head of the black mafia, which is that casino-loving uh, uh, gambling preacher, Floyd Flake? Huh? That's me of Bloomberg's lap dog, his little black pet. All right, so to all you my friends out there, I just want you to know I'm out for justice. And when you're out to get justice, you got to get revenge first, and then you get your justice in America. And then if you're black and you got something going on, chances are you better off in Canada where you'll be better appreciated, where you can live in a country that's a country for its people, rather than this corporation, that if you're getting into power, you get into a position, it's your turn to go ahead and do wrong. I used to wear love on my sleeve for America as a former Special Forces Army Airborne Ranger. I'm taking my behind to Canada. 
because there's nothing left in America for me unless I'm some Mexican that want to be some kind of like blue collar wage slave and um, I got to target the opportunities of the blacks but then again you can't blame them too much why because too many black folk are lazy you're just freaking bloodline lazy as a race that never did nothing about your future you squandered the wealth of all the opportunities that you had as they incrementally let you out of slavery to this whole emancipation process you've got a president that couldn't give a damn about your blackness it's all about the economy playing the, the great white hope okay on behalf of his mama and his grandmama and hey all I know is if you're looking for the daddy of Barack Hussein Obama Go look for an old toothless man sitting begging for money on the street somewhere. All right? That's what I see. You guys have your nice freaking day. Bye-bye. What? You betrayed me. You betrayed me.